Hi everyone. Have you been in a situation where a stock gave fantastic results, but the very next day it fell by 10%? Similarly, maybe a company announced a bonus issue. However, the next day the stock hit a lower circuit. There are broadly three kind of market participants. The first ones live typically in the past. For example, you might see people talking about Titan has made so much money for investors in the past. Reliance is the best stock for investors. Here I am not suggesting these stocks are no longer good stocks. What I am saying is that the investors live in the past. Their current and future decisions are biased by what has already happened in the decade, even two decades at times. The second category of people is the ones who live in the current. They know what happened in the past. They are kind of aware what is happening around them and they try to take decisions based upon what they know, what they are aware of. The third category is the people who try to predict future. They create theories. The theories may at times go wrong, but they tend to be more right than wrong. These are the people who make a lot of money, many times multiples. Markets right now are poised at a very critical phase. This video is being shot a couple of days ahead of the Lok Sabha results. In fact, this video is supposed to help you in situations like the current situation. As one example, whenever there is uncertainty, whenever you think markets may give a huge opportunity, you might want to use the learnings from this video and take the best decisions to make most money out of the markets. The basic theory is markets are fairly priced. They could go up to any extent 5%, 10%, 20% based upon the outcome of the elections. Similarly, in any such situation, maybe a Ukraine-Russia war, markets fell, but they recovered after a week. There are times when the markets become overpriced, more expensive. There are major events like say pandemic, which can bring down the market to 50-60% levels also. Typically, data says such events repeat every four years. High time that there is a bit of profit booking and the markets see a reasonably good correction. In such an event where markets crash, you don't want to get stuck without money for sure. Also, falling markets typically do not give you enough time to think. You need a strategy to invest and make money. Just for an example, if you are seeing this video on Sunday, 2nd of June, then you would notice tomorrow, which is Monday, that nearly everyone who was short on the market, long on the market, goes for a buy. Even people who are short, who are expecting the other coalition to win, they will also cover their short positions probably in panic and move towards long positions. In this video, we'll talk about cash deployment strategy. If you're a swing trader in a small fall, also, if you are a swing trader, but the fall is large, say 20%. Also, this video considers three grades of investment. Then how to invest in the first week of fall, two to four weeks into the fall, and maybe a fall which is larger where the markets eventually move sideways. We have two sections for equity traders and equity investors. I have imagined a corpus of 5 lakh. Within trading also, there are two categories, investing into high beta stocks. The second being investing into fundamentally good stocks where you are not playing poker and eventually you will not lose money. If the stocks fall, you will have an opportunity to convert these trades into an investment also. Note that the idea is not to get stuck to a loss making stock and sit on losses. A sunken cost is a sunken cost you get out of it if you have made a wrong decision. Then when it comes to investment, there are three categories of investment. The first one is the rock solid stocks, good management, not necessarily the large caps, nifty stocks or the top 5 10 stocks. These are let's say A category stocks. 50% weightage of your portfolio goes into A category stocks which will go up at a good pace in the longer run and the fall actually will not impact their ability to make money. In fact, it will give you some extra margins only because something which was say 100 bucks that is right now available at 80 and eventually whether it is at 80 or 150, it is going at 150 say in 5 years time. The second category, let's call it B category. These are stocks with slightly higher risk but still fundamentally good stocks. In fact, category B will make a higher percentage gain for you. These could be high quality mid caps or even nifty stocks, but typically the CAGR of these stocks should be at least something like a 20%. The third category, let's call it C. The risk is highest here. Hence, only 10% of your portfolio goes here. These could be very high quality small caps or even some mid caps. Idea is to make 30% kind of gains in next two or three years, which means in three years of the fall, the stock will approximately double. Most people tomorrow and day after will jump and deploy nearly 100% of their cash without caring for these categories or decisions. But like I said earlier, on action days, market will not give you time to think unless you have planned ahead. Now there are four category of events. Sudden crash, say a 5% reduction in nifty levels. The second category is 10% kind of crash. These happen over about five days. Five days of fall does not mean five continuous days of fall. It is approximately five days or six days of fall in which most days the stocks are down. Next categories are 20% and 40%, two weeks or four weeks. Markets typically don't go down for continuous 10, 20 days. During these falls, there are still short coverings. Once you understood these categories, let's jump to the numbers. Let's first focus on swing trading high beta stocks. If there is a crash, 
you deploy about 20% of 5% of the corpus. I'll walk you through the exact numbers also. Now you might say it is a very small amount. The small amount depends upon the corpus size. If this sudden crash is followed by another five days of fall, you deploy another 30%. In the third set of fall, which is about 10 days, you deploy 50%, which is the remaining cash available with you for the swing trade. Here the understanding is if the markets continue to fall and tank, which is highly unlikely, you will either hit your stop losses or you convert these trades to investments. If you convert these to investments, you free up some more cash for trading and the money which was deployed in this category is taken out from one of these three categories. The next category is swing trading in strong stocks. Strong stocks and high beta stocks could have an overlap also. For example, HAL is a very high beta stock and it is a very strong stock. So you could consider that in either of the two categories, it is your discretion. But when you come to strong stocks, you don't deploy in the first phase. In the first phase, you deploy into high beta stocks because they will fall a lot. And if the markets recover immediately, they will go up a lot also. So you will make a lot of money. In the second phase, you deploy 30% of the cash for this category. In the next leg, you deploy 20% of cash two times. The third category is 10% into three weeks. So 30, 40, 30. Now we move to investment category one, which is the high pedigree, high quality stocks. If there is a sudden crash, you deploy 20% of your capital. Note that this is the largest section of your portfolio, 50%. In the next leg, which is about five days of fall, you deploy another 30%. In the next leg, you deploy 25% more. And in the final leg, you deploy 25% more. You could do this in steps like here and here. There is no hard and fast rule. However, this is the highest pedigree of investment and the largest chunk of investment. Category B. Here you have 30% of your portfolio. You don't deploy anything in the first two legs. The idea is that these stocks probably would have fallen 50-60% by the time you are in week three approximately. So make sense to invest most here. Otherwise, you will end up in significant losses. Many stocks in category B and category C are the candidates for hitting lower circuits during crashes. Once you have deployed 60% in the third phase, in the fourth phase, you deploy 20-20% over two weeks. The third category is the one which will typically hit lower circuits many times during crashes. There could be days like 10-12 days also when stocks hit lower circuits. This does not mean that the stocks have suddenly gone bad. Otherwise, the choice itself was wrong. The idea is that these are low liquidity stocks and most people are investing in these zones. No one is caring for these categories. People in fact want to free up from these categories and move their money here. Here now you are seeing a lot of value. Note that this category will be the slowest to recover. You might be under the water for six months, one year also, which is okay. This category is supposed to double your money in three years or more. In this section, I'll give you example with exact cash numbers. These four time categories, I have created eight weeks corresponding to them. First, the division of 5 lakh rupees, 25,000 for trading one zone, another 25,000 for trading two zone, total 10%. Then investment one category, which is the largest is 2 lakh 50,000. Investment two, 1 lakh 50,000. Investment three, 50,000. Now in week one, which is a sudden crash, you deploy 5,000 rupees into swing trades into high beta as per the strategy here. In investment one category, you deploy 50,000. In week two, that is the time to deploy 90,000 more. You deploy 7,500 in category one of trades, 7,500 in strong stock trades, 75,000. This is the biggest chunk for this category. Week three is where you are deploying most cash, 170,000. 12,500, you are maxing out now on the high beta trades and you deploy 5,000 more in strong stocks in swing trading. In investment grade, you deploy another 62,500. You now start investing in week three into investment two category, 90,000 bulk of it comes here. Now suppose markets continue to fall. We are now in week four. That is the second biggest chunk, 1,10,000. You deploy the second chunk of 5,000 for the strong stocks, swing trading. And the last chunk of investment one category, 62,500. These are the 25%, 25% categories. In investment two category, you deploy another 30,000. And now we start investing into the smaller category or riskier assets also. So 25% now gets deployed over the next four weeks. In investment two category also, next week you'll deploy another 30,000. 
this category has maxed out this category after week 5 has maxed out there is no point in getting into trades into 10 20 stocks at this time especially if your portfolio is not very large if your portfolio is very large you could say chunk out 1 lakh or 50000 or 2 lakh kind of amounts per stock also if you don't follow this approach then tomorrow based upon the exit poll results or another war like event on day one or day two you will deploy this complete amount on day one and you will have very little money here you might be able to arrange more money also but you will be stuck with a very high value investment in week one and you will continue to spend significant money averaging it lower this technique eventually helps you buy at many levels it also helps you average lower a lot of people these days prefer something called pyramiding which means as the stock goes up, you put in more money into it. However, you cannot plan for it. If the stock has fallen a lot, as it recovers, you can start putting it money into it. So I'm all in for pyramiding. It is a fantastic approach and I do it a lot, which means I do buy stocks when they start increasing. I don't necessarily wait for corrections, but I can't create a strategy around it. If I have cash, if the stock is going up, if I expect it to go up a lot, I'll still buy it. Hope this strategy will be useful if there's an event in future where you have to deploy cash. There are two more videos coming up in this series. The first one will be around what stocks and sectors not to buy in the event of a crash. This is my favorite topic because in the last two or three crashes that I have witnessed, I have always deployed cash into certain stocks and certain sectors which have eventually made money but my capital remained stuck and I missed out on bull run of significant stocks which I was aware of but I did not invest in them A because I didn't have cash and second they had already run up a lot and at that time I was really afraid into pyramiding. So I am now waiting for the next crash to happen with a new strategy. I hope to make some money but I don't know when the next crash will arrive. I don't know what will happen after the Lok Sabha results on Tuesday for sure but I am prepared for all three outcomes. Coalition A wins, Coalition B wins there is a hung assembly, no clear majority. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.